Hello guys, I'm Ahule, back in with another new video and show on our show. That means Happy New Year in Bengali because this is Bengali New Year. And now what today I'm gonna show you is a tool or an app. Obviously it's an app to manage your code snippets, your personal code snippets. Now it's an offline app, but it's built with totally web technologies. They are using Electron to convert it into a desktop app. So it's made in view okay now to be honest in my personal use case what i does is i use notion to uh like uh, save all of my uh code snippets okay because obviously notion is cloud platform it's cross platform i can you know, access it from any of my device but it's not specifically made for code snippets okay so that's the thing now today i'm gonna show you what is the benefit of having this app okay what extra features that we are getting in this app okay so let's just start and see what we have today now here is our today's app that is mass code and i have been playing with it a little bit so uh so let's uh, talk about look and pulse first so in the preferences setting you can change all of the preferences over here you can change your storage options uh, you can see how many snippets are there to uh, are save right now then in the editor section you can change the font size change the font family select the word wrap uh, select the tab size as well okay and uh, you can have the trailing commas semis single quotes everything okay and you can choose the theme as well right now i am using dracula but uh, what i like is wonder pro more but both of them are fine with me okay so those are the preference section now here i don't know why they have included this inbox section because this doesn't make any sense because we don't have any inbox property over here i don't know maybe they have borrowed it from some of the ui element and kept it over here and forget to delete it whatever we have favorite sections all snippet section to see all of the snippets over here and the trash section as well so obviously in the favorite section uh, you will be able to see the favorite snippets that you have but i can't see any option to make it favorite to be honest so that's one thing that i would say that we don't have right now but rather than that as you can see i have, right now i am having a tree structure over here so you can simply create a uh, like a uh, scaffolded uh, scaffolded or tree like uh, the subfolder system over here that is totally easy and right now let me delete it and you can just simply delete it like that and obviously it will appear in your title folders will not appear in your trash only the snippets that you delete will appear in your uh, appear in your trash okay so that folder doesn't have was like didn't have anything that's why it didn't have a, a, like appear over here if on the all snippet section i can see one snippet and that snippet as is as well over here as well okay and if you click on this plus icon you will get another folder now here from here you can also create another new snippet that is control n like any other software another fragment so what is fragment i will explain over here right now but let's just see it and for a new folder you just click on create control shift n and they have the search functionality over here that is also useful so you can search through all of your snippets at once in the edit section the normal edits in the editor section you can ha you have copy to clipboard uh, that is also over here that will i will show as well and they have given you formatting so they have already included prettier over here so you can uh, click on Control shift f to format the whole code and preview of markdown now this is a great addition i would say because this is not a markdown editing tool but still that they are having it i really really like it like it and appreciate it okay and in the help you can get all of the other things and now what are the fragments so as you can see i have created one snippet over here 
and it's in the next folder and i have like you can rename files from here and i have created this fragments over here as you can see okay so how to create a fragment let me delete in and create it again so you can click on this to create another new fragment as you can see it is created over here well i don't really need a new fragment and here is two of my current fragments that i am using right now and you can add tags as well like if i want to add this is a powershell command maybe or this is a cmd okay so i can add cmd tag over here and i can sort tags i think also cmd let's see no only the those things yeah nx that is over, highlighted over here so only those things are searchable so i can add tags over here uh, maybe later on they will add all of those features and uh, you have this button over here to copy it i don't know why they have used this button to symbolize copying but it doesn't make sense still you can click on it to copy the code that is shown over here and you can select the language from this section as well okay so that's basically about the whole overview of the app so you can simply download it from grid app links will be in the description for you and that's about it about this whole app now this is a great way to like only save all of your snippets rather than that nothing else okay so and this is an offline mode of it one thing i would say like if if uh, as it's an open source project if someone does one thing like connects connects this thing with the server actually it is saving those all of those uh, snippets in a storage like uh, in, in my file storage right so rather than doing that if i do one thing he connect it with a uh, object storage cloud object storage i think i can simply use this same interface everywhere yeah that would be a great thing to customize it and that would be a great option to be honest now, now when i think about it it will be a great solution as well like if you want to use same application over the cloud because only thing that you need actually is uh, your uh, object storage yeah that's it rather than that it has nothing in it like you don't have to authenticate you don't have to do stuff you have the control over your own uh, cloud storage uh, you can like authenticate in it and do whatever stuff you want to like so yeah that would be a great thing whatever so let's see what we can do with it in future whatever right now i'm not going into this project to be honest whatever still uh let me know if you're gonna use it or not or how you're gonna obviously this is the one thing like one purpose app like still how you're gonna use it let me know that as well if you're gonna make some changes contribute to the github repo or not let me know that as well because that would be a great discussion and if you know about some of the great apps like this place let me know about all of them in the comment section below so i can feature them in my future video and rather than that if you like my channel in general please do subscribe to my channel like if you like my videos share this video give this video a thumbs up comment down below love it whatever do whatever try to boost up the youtube algorithm because it's not boosting up yeah so yeah that's it bye for now